With powerful melee abilities, use the smell ability to highlight nearby hunters and wildlife. Melee attacks are very effective at close range. Eat to gain armor and evolve. Goliath can climb almost any surface. Leap to travel faster. Goliath will leap towards the crosshair's location. The leap ability recharges over time. While jumping towards a ledge, hold the climb button to catch it and climb up. A well-placed rock throw delivers a crushing blow from a distance. The leap smash is effective against one target or many. Fire breath is ideal for damaging multiple targets at once. Charge attack can close the distance in combat or aid escape. is death from above. Use the smell ability to highlight nearby hunters and wildlife. Melee attacks are effective at close range and while in the air. Eat to gain armor and evolve. Kraken can climb almost any surface. Use air burst to travel faster. This ability recharges over time. Kraken will fly towards the direction you're moving. Lightning Strike unleashes a powerful electrical blast. Banshee Mines are great for ambushes and homing on nearby targets. Aftershock deals heavy damage to any nearby targets. Vortex pushes hunters away while dealing damage. is a deadly assassin that excels at trickery. Use the smell ability to highlight nearby hunters and wildlife. Melee attacks are very effective at close range. Eat to gain armor and evolve. Wraith can climb almost any surface. Warp to travel faster. The warp ability recharges over time. Wraith will warp towards the direction you're moving. Use Warp Blast to warp to a target and create an explosive blast. Abduction can be used to steal targets away from their pack. Spawn a decoy to fight for you while you go invisible. Supernova creates a powerful arena to fight in. Melee speed and damage are increased. Hide your tracks and sneak by flocks of birds. You move slowly while sneaking, so make sure there's distance between you and your pursuers before entering stealth mode. Confuse the hunters by leaving tracks in one direction, then sneaking in another direction. Lone hunters are vulnerable to your pounce ability. To pounce, use your melee attack while in stealth mode. A pounce target cannot escape unless one of their teammates shoots you off. Fire Breath can be used to reveal cloaked hunters or finish off fleeing targets. Hold down the Rock Throw button to fake out a hunter. Wait for them to waste jetpack fuel dodging, then greet them with a rock. Armor can be easily regenerated, health can't. If you lose all of your armor in combat, Consider disengaging to find wildlife. Get extra distance out of your leaps by jumping off of tall objects. Learn to combo your abilities. For example, leap smash into a target, then immediately capitalize with charge attack. If you hold the climb button while looking at any surface, the crosshair will change shape, indicating if a surface is climbable.
air bursts recharge slowly outside of combat. Fly as far as you can before triggering the air burst again. Stay in the air during combat. High above the hunters is the ideal perspective for successfully landing hits with Kraken's abilities. Remember to use your long-range melee attacks when abilities are on cooldown, or to finish off a weakened hunter. Use Aftershock to damage clustered targets and hunter equipment. Kraken can still move after triggering the ability, so continue to adjust your position to hit as many targets as possible. Lightning Strike is powerful, but easy to escape. Use it on targets with few movement options. Use your Vortex to isolate high-value targets like Medics and Trappers. Finish them off once they're separated from their teammates. Use Banshee Mines to slow down pursuing Hunters. Hide them in the path of your escape, so Hunters have to deal with them instead of chasing you. The Wraith has a small pool of health and armor and cannot stay in battle for extended periods of time. Hit and run tactics must be employed. Sneak often when outside of combat. The Wraith's small silhouette and low profile during stealth mode allow for a lot of successful sneaking. Warp in and out of sight during combat. Use your abilities to confuse the enemy. Warp Blast deals heavy damage and is easy to use. It's great for hunting and fighting. Supernova is a great counter to the mobile arena, provided you have some armor to fight. If hunters escape the shroud, you can use abduction to bring them back. Not only is decoy a great escape mechanic, it is also a powerful stealth count enabler. When out of line of sight, trigger the decoy. Then move into Stealth Pounce position and pounce a lone hunter while their teammates are busy with the decoy. Markov is the Assault class and the damage dealer in the group. When in combat, use the Lightning Gun to deal great damage. Lightning can also chain attack groups of enemies. Place arc mines for an ambush or close fight, but keep in mind they take a few seconds to arm. The assault rifle is great at long range. Continue to press the fight with assault by using the personal shield. Wait until the monster is attacking, then activate it for temporary invulnerability. as much as possible. It's the most powerful weapon in your arsenal. When the battery runs out, start deploying arc mines. Arc mines should be hidden out of sight, in bushes or at the tops of cliffs. However, during combat, place your arc mines in the open for teammates to retreat to if they're in trouble. Switch to your assault rifle while you are trying to get close enough to use the lightning gun. Don't trigger your personal shield too early. Your medic can heal you back to full health while you're shielded, so don't be afraid to take a few hits before activating it. You can still trigger your personal shield after being in-capped. Use it to keep the monster from finishing you off and give your medic a chance to get you back on your feet. Assault class and the damage dealer in the group. The flamethrower deals heavy damage at close range. Use the minigun to rapidly inflict damage at long range. The toxic grenade can be used to flush the monster out of an advantageous area. Remember to use the personal shield. Thrower as often as possible. When the monster is too far for the flamethrower, switch to your minigun. The 
flamethrower is your most powerful weapon, as well as the most visible. When a teammate is in trouble, use that to your advantage. Light the monster up and force it to retreat. Use your minigun to exploit holes in the monster's armor. Remember to get close to the monster. The minigun has more range than the flamethrower, but not by much. Don't trigger your personal shield too early. Your medic can heal you back to full health while you're shielded, so don't be afraid to take a few hits before activating it. A good monster will hide around corners and try to fight in areas where it has an advantage. Use the toxic grenade to flush the monster out and force it to fight on your terms. Toxic clouds will slow down allies. Be careful where you throw your toxic grenade, especially if the monster is trying to escape. Throw your toxic grenades on in-cap teammates. The extra damage may be enough to drive the monster away before it can finish them off. Parnell is the assault class and the damage dealer in the group. The super soldier ability increases fire rate and movement speed at the cost of health points. The combat shotgun is a fully automatic, short-range damage dealer. The multi-fire rocket launcher is also fully automatic and excels at long-range combat. Remember to use the personal shield. of your super soldier ability. Trigger it in open areas where you have clear line of sight and plenty of room to dodge around. Try not to get knocked down as you'll lose valuable seconds recovering instead of dealing damage. Remember that your super soldier ability comes at the cost of some of your own health. Pair up with a good medic. Get up close with the combat shotgun and when out of range, switch to the multi-fire rocket launcher while repositioning. Medic. She keeps the team alive. Use the med gun to heal or revive teammates from a distance. The Trank Rifle will slow the monster and highlight its location for a short amount of time. When in combat, use the Sniper Rifle to create weak spots on the monster for the other hunters to target. As the Medic, use the Healing Burst to keep yourself and nearby hunters alive. If the Medic falls in battle, the team is sure to follow. Stay alive, Medic. Heal injured teammates as soon as possible, so your Med Gun can recharge before another Hunter takes damage. During combat, focus on healing the Hunter that the monster is actively attacking. Use your healing burst to keep yourself alive. If you don't need it, save your burst for extra healing when a teammate is close to death. Tranquilize the monster as soon as you engage it, then switch to your med gun. The trank will make it easier for your team to track and fight the monster. If the monster is tranquilized and your teammates are healed, use the sniper rifle to put a weak spot on the monster. Lazarus is the medic. He keeps the team alive. The Lazarus device can be used to bring teammates back from the dead. Use the personal cloak to hide yourself when in danger or to stealthily revive teammates. The sniper rifle is rapid fire, leaves no tracers, and creates weak spots on the monster that teammates can target, all without making a ruckus. Don't forget to use the Healing Burst. 